Well, Walton Chain is a project trying to combine the uh, blockchain technology with IoT applications. Well, we are doing that because of several reasons. First, I think uh, the Internet of Things is a trend for our future development of information technology. Well, we are doing or uh, we are using Internet technology well. I think the next step is not only combining or connecting all the computers or all the computing devices, but everything in the world, in the reality. And secondly, we think we have a very solid, very rich uh, experience in IoT application, especially we have uh, working foundations in the uh, IoT uh, related hardware uh, design and development. And also we have uh, experience and correlations, collaborations with many uh, manufacturing uh, factories and uh, users like in clothing, in uh, food, in supply chain, in logistics. And third, we think uh, blockchain is uh, really promising. It's a very hot topic, but we think it is a technology to be used in some practice. We want to do a real, real uh, practice of blockchain technology in something that is related with user, uh, with people reality, with people daily life, which is uh, Internet of Things. The third reason is that we think blockchain is a very promising technology. But now people is keep, they are keep talking about the technology, about the trend, about how promising it is. Other than that, they are trying to use the technology to solve some problem. We try to not only talking, but practicing the blockchain technology in some reality, in industry, in manufacturing, in Internet of Things applications. So when people are talking about traceability, they are really checking the integrity, the trustworthiness of data. And we think the traditional solution uh, around the data for traceability cannot guarantee that the data is as it is uh, from uh, the, its origin. Uh, for example, now many Chinese people, they are shopping overseas. And when they put order, how can they make sure the parcel is really shipped from the overseas countries other than from a local Chinese factory or town? Well, by using our uh, blockchain plus RFID technology, we attach a tag, RFID tag to the parcel and we can automatically from the very first point, very first stop to upload, upload the RFID information into the blockchain, which guarantees the integrity of the data, which makes sure the data is immutable. Well, RFID or the radio frequency identification is a technology for human being to recognize objects or recognize entities uh, with a hardware-based solution. Well, we are trying to use RFID to recognize, to track products or to track objects. And we are trying to collect and upload the collected ID information into the blockchain, which can make sure the ID information can be tracked and also can be shared, can be communicated around the world without relation or without any uh, dependence on centralized server. Well, we are building or we are developing RFID plus blockchain based uh, technology or solution. We are also designing and developing some related devices, hardware devices. We call those devices blockchain enabled devices. So that means they serve in the uh, data lifetime as data collection end and also data exchange node and also data storage devices. Well, as we said that we collect data, but we collect data with our hardware, like RFID tags and RFID readers. So uh, the trick is that we have some special uh, methodology to associate, to combine tightly our tags with the products. Well, those tags, they cannot be detached from the product, but of course they can be destroyed. Once you destroy the tag, you destroy the product 
of the trustworthiness of the product. By doing that, and by uh, having the data on blockchain, you cannot either destroy the integrity of data on blockchain, or you cannot detach the tag with the product. So uh, it means we have not only a single chain, Walton chain, but we have a collection of blockchains. The Walton chain only serves as the root of the whole system. We have multiple or so many uh, child chains. Each chain serves in a specific using application or scenarios. Of course, we have uh, ways to connect those other chains to do interchain communication, to do interchain data transmission. And uh, when people they are talking about the performance or the uh, throughput or TPS of a blockchain uh, system, they are only focusing on a single system throughput. For us, our system is scalable because we have multiple chains. Each child chain is responsible for a specific application or using scenario. While our mother chain or our uh, parent chain is only responsible for covering, connecting, and also integrating all those child chains together. So uh, we will say that it depends on the uh, applications or the uh, specific scenarios. Our TPS on child chains varies from hundreds to tens of thousands transactions per second. And the TPS is not a problem at all for our mother chain because most transactions will be processed or uh, exchanged on child chains. So in blockchain, uh, one big problem is how to come up to an agreement. We call it consensus. And POW, proof of uh, work of POS, they are all mechanism for consensus. Well, uh, Walton Chain, we uh, invent a POL, which means proof of laboring, because we think for blockchain nodes, it's not only meaningful or useful to measure their participation, but how they, their participation contribute to the performance and also to the functionality of the system. So proof of laboring means nodes, they have to do some useful work to be laboring to uh, achieve their goal or to altogether achieve agreement, which is consensus. And in our system, uh, right now we designed to make the uh, supermaster nodes as candidates for laboring for interchain communication and data transmission. So that's a very big part of this uh, consensus uh, algorithm. So here uh, we encourage more people to participate in our SMN program and also by running Supermaster node to contribute to the Walton chain system. Of course, we will do that we will design, develop IoT products and devices, and also our devices are blockchain-enabled devices. And we hope our blockchain-enabled devices can resolve the problem in the current IoT of data integrity, checking, and also data immutability. So in the Walton Chain system, you have to be a stakeholder to participate in the service, to use the service, to provide service to others. Of course, our service is data-centric. When we say you have to be a stakeholder, that means you have to own, to have WTC, the Walton Chain calls. Only those WTC holders, they can contribute data to the system, uploading data to the blockchain. Only those holders they can prove and audit data on the blockchain. And only those WTC holders or WTC owners, they can exchange data, data with value, for better value, for more value. So we think data equals to value, and WTC is a carrier of the value, is a representation of the value. Well, absolutely. Uh, I don't think you need any doubt on that point. We do have not only a planning time point, but also we have step-by-step -step working plan on the South 
opening and south sharing final target for our development of our mother chain.